Hi everybody and welcome to another video in the plan mod series from the EdTech Teacher. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create templates which you can use in your lesson plans when you are creating your lessons in plan board. Rather than recreating a particular template every time you create a lesson, you can actually create a template which you can easily insert into your lesson planning. So let's go and have a look at how we can create some different templates. We can customize them based on our needs. We can basically do whatever we like and create it as a template ready to use when we're ready to plan in plan board. So at the moment, I'm currently in my dashboard on plan board. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to head up to my plan board tab at the top of my page and I'm going to click on my planner. I'm going to head to today. Now, obviously it's going to take it at the moment to my first day of my semester, which is the 27th of January. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to my first lesson, which is year nine science. Now I'm gonna show you how to use your lesson planning features of plan board in another video. And this video is only showing you how to create templates and save them ready to use at a later date. So you'll see when you get to your lesson that there are two buttons. There's the first button, which allows you to add content. And the second one is apply template. We're gonna click on apply template. At the moment, it's telling me that we have no templates. So we're going to need to create some templates. We're gonna scroll down and we're going to click just here to create our templates. I'll show you what it looks like and how easy it is to create a template after we've created our first one. So what we're gonna do is we've got two options. We can click the create new template button here, or again, we've got our familiar circle, our blue circle with our white plus sign. So let's go and create our new template. The first thing we're gonna do is give it a name. So let's call it something generic lesson plan number one. Then basically what we have is we have all of these different functionality features which we can use to create our template. So maybe we want to have a bold heading. Maybe it's our lesson title. Then we might like to put in, let's say, a table. So let's put in a table. I'm going to go uh, room resources links. So maybe we're going to put down what room we're located in for this particular lesson, what resources we might need, and what links we might also use in that lesson. Then I might head down here and I might add some more. Let's add lesson outline and maybe we put that in a table oops i didn't want it at the top there so i'm just going to go back make sure your cursor is in the right spot when you're inserting your table lesson outline so when we go to use this template and i'm just going to add another part here i'm going to call it notes and i'm going to add another table. When we go to complete and use this particular template, we're going to go up here to assign to classes. And then we can choose where we're going to use that template. If we head back, all right, it's going to save it for us there. And we can see lesson plan number one. That is a template that we can use. What I'll do is I'll go and show you how you can use the template in a lesson plan, and then we'll go and have a practice of creating some more templates using the template feature. So I'm gonna head back to plan board, go to my planner and head to today. Now, when we head to our lesson and we click on the apply template button, you can see that we have a different user interface here and it's asking us to select our template. So we've only got one template created. So when we click the button on select a template, that's the one that will come up. So when we go save, 
that template is going to be inserted right into our lesson planning feature in plan board so now we can go and complete our lesson plan using that template okay so that's one template that we have maybe we'd like to go and create some more templates we can do that by heading up here to options and then we can scroll down to the apply template button now again we can go and click on manage templates to go and create some more templates. So let's go and create some more. At my school, we use something called the BBC, which is the Blackboard Configuration. And it's our way of being able to communicate our lesson purpose, our learning intentions, success criteria, and our lesson outline to our students. So I've created a template in my personal version of Planboard that I use to record the same information that I give the students in my PowerPoint and Google slide presentations. So I'm going to show you how I would create that using the lesson plan and the template gallery in plan board. So we always start off with our lesson outline or our big idea. Then we have our success criteria, our learning intentions and our lesson outline. So I'm going to do a little bit of creation here with a table and then I'm going to go and merge some cells so that I can create my particular template. So I'm going to go here and I'm actually going to make a, uh, a two by three table here and I'm actually going to go and merge my first two cells and we can head down here to customize and do a little bit of merging where we need to. So you can go down here and do a little bit of changing. Okay, whatever you need to do to your cells, you can do that just here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hopefully be able to find And I'm not going to be able to find it now, am I? And it's going to make me look very silly. Here we go. There it is. So I've merged that one and I'm going to name this one the big idea because that is how we start off our lessons. We always have the big idea. Then I'm going to go and merge these two cells here. And now I've remembered how to do it. We're going to go cell, merge. And this particular box is going to be our lesson outline. So that's where I'm going to write down step by step what we're going to do throughout the lesson so the students can see that. Over here, I'm going to have my learning intentions. What is the purpose of today's lesson? What are we learning about? What will we be doing? And then I'm going to have my success criteria. So this is my BBC lesson template. So this is the a template very similar to what I use in my own personal copy of Planboard. Now, just remember, you don't have to assign it to a class just yet. It's already saved. So if you hit the back button, it's going to be in your template gallery. Okay. So now if we head back to Planboard again and we go to today's date and we go to another lesson we can click on apply template and it's going to be there listed in our template gallery so just remember that you can actually change a lesson template within a lesson if you make a mistake we're just going to click on edit content we can just highlight our text and we can delete we can head to options scroll down to apply template and apply a new template as required. So there are ways to change templates if you don't find the template that you have created is quite, is quite right for your particular needs. So let's go and create another one. Maybe you're a primary or elementary school teacher and you're wanting to create a template that shows rotations between groups. So let's do something, let's do literacy rotation template. So you might have several different templates that you use and they might be different for the different classes or the different subjects that you teach. Customize them for your need. That's the great thing about Planboard. 
So let's start off with, we might start off with our lesson focus. And just remember, we can do other things like colors. We can add colors. So oh, I've changed my text there. Um, so that's going to change the text. I'm going to change the background there. So now we've got a different colored background. So it's nice and easy to see. So we might go in and we might do something like our BBC from my previous template that I have shown you. Now, just remember, plan board's a little bit different um, compared to, you know, using Microsoft Word or Google Slides or Docs. We're not going to be right-clicking when we've highlighted our cells here. So we're going to head down here to our options and click cell and then merge if we need to. So don't right click because it won't actually work. So let's do our learning intentions, our success, too many C's there. Let's do our learning outline. And then maybe we want to also record the activities, the different literacy groups are doing. So let's maybe put in six literacy groups. Let's go the um, blue group, red, yellow, green, purple, and the pink group. So now maybe we can record what the different reading or literacy groups are going to be doing in their lessons. And just remember that we can come in here and we can colour our cells if we want to so we can make it nice and clear and easy to tell what's going on, what's happening where. So you can customise your templates to your heart's desires. There's so many things that you can do. Do you want to include some videos, some links? What do you want to do? Oh, I don't have a pink there. Um, we might change it to orange or we'll change that one to orange. It's not quite an orange, but we'll go and change that to another orange. That's better. So you can go and create a template for your particular purpose. So maybe I want to come down here. I might add some resources. I might like to put in an image so I can drop an image here or I can click on an image. All right, so I'm just putting in the Chalk Plan Board Series logo here so I can put that in. Oh, I've spot resources wrong. I'll go and fix that up. You can do that. You can place, you can align it. You can put a caption in if you'd like to. You can display it. There's so many different things that you can do. You can also include videos, all right? You can put embed code, you can upload videos. So I'm gonna go here and I can upload my last video on creating, oops, too big. It's not gonna let me upload that one, but that's okay. So there's a lot you can do with your template creation in PlanBoard. Create templates that suit your particular needs. Do what you need to do to make plan board as functional as possible. If you need to provide evidence of your lessons to your senior executive or your administration, create a, a lesson template that fits into that and go and then download those lessons to supply to them. Maybe you create a lesson template that is when you're um, for when you're absent. So you create and write your lessons using your absent template so the lesson can then be printed off or supplied to the casual or relief teacher so that they know what you would like them to do when you're away. The template gallery is a fantastic feature of PlanBoard. It makes your life so much easier when you're planning and you, you know, you don't have to go in there and create that same template over and over again. You simply go to your templates and you choose the most appropriate template for your particular need and you pop that in to your lesson plan. A fantastic feature that I think is going to make your life so much easier when you're using plan board from Chalk. 
Well, that's the end of another video from the plan board series from the EdTech Teacher. In this video, we've just shown you how easy it is to create brand new templates using plan board that you can insert into your lessons with this fantastic resource. My name is Tristan. I am the creator of the EdTech Teacher, and this is another video from the Chalk Plan Board series from the EdTech Teacher. Stay tuned because there's more videos coming up to help you use this amazing resource. Thank you so much for watching this video from the EdTech Teacher. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up so that you can tell other people just how amazing the videos and tutorials are from the EdTech Teacher. And if you haven't done so already, we would love it if you would head over here and click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget that once you've subscribed to our channel, to click the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are added to our channel. We are so grateful that you've taken the time to watch one of our videos, and we hope you come back very soon. Thanks very much from the EdTech Teacher.